the scum in this city will look up and shout, save us. And I will say, racist way, people! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Oh man, this boy's dusty. Hey guys, this is my review for Watchmen, the first season on the HBO series. This season actually went from being kind of meh to me to ending on a really good note. It has a very slow burn. The first two episodes are incredibly slow. I was at the point where I was just sitting there going, what is actually the point of this show? Where is the direction? What is happening? And then the third episode comes in and it gets good and it is great from the third episode onwards. This show had so much controversy going on with people calling it out for being too woke, for people not liking what they did with Rorschach, which I know I have a little figure of him, and he is one of my favorite characters from the comic, him and Comedian. It's because those two are such the opposite norms of what normal heroes, normal comic book heroes are. They are horrible people. People who say that they want to be like Rorschach, that's not a good thing to want. He is a piece of garbage. He literally sees it as black and white. To the point where he even has a few lines that kind of verge on a little bit of racism. But I can totally get behind the idea of a super white supremacist group taking the ideals of Rorschach, the journal entries, and putting it into their own perspective. That's the idea of taking something completely out of context and putting it into their own perspective. I enjoyed that. And it's funny for me to say that because I don't like Damon Lindoff. I do not like him as a writer. I thought Prometheus was so far up its own ass that I hated him for it. But he actually does a great job with this. He does a great job building on the lore of the Watchmen series, taking it 30 years in, into the future. He does a great job with bringing some characters back. Uh, for instance, he made me like Silk Spectre. I never liked her in the comics, but this iteration of her admittedly 30 years later. She's one of my favorite characters in the entire show. As I said, it starts off really slow, but then eventually it finds its stride, not only with its storytelling, but with its production value. The third episode, the seventh episode, and the eighth episode are very, very good for different story elements, but for the same great production value. The seventh episode is the history of Hooded Justice and how they put it together is phenomenal. It's all this sort of meshed one shots and it's such a good episode. The third episode gives us our backstory and a little bit of character development about the Silk Spectre and who she is now. And then the eighth episode is about a certain Mr. Blue Man and it's actually probably one of the best episodes of the season. Again, people are saying that it's going too woke, but it's not wrong. White supremacist terrorist groups are the most prevalent threat in the United States. Look at any FBI charts. That's what we'll, they'll say, that they are the biggest ones. And I like that they go to a completely totalitarian, sort of full-on radical group. The cops hide their faces. I like that aspect. While the first episode kind of sucks, the first instance of it is fantastic. Regina King is a great main character, even though I kept on seeing her as Huey and Riley from the Boondocks, because she does voice those characters. Looking Glass is a really cool character. I like what they did with him. I love how they use the squid element with him. Adrian Veidt, played by Jeremy Irons, is so good. That's a story that does take some time before you wonder what the hell's going on with him, too. I very much enjoyed this show. It's a real rough drag to get through the first two episodes, but once you get past it, once you start the third episode, I guarantee you it gets a lot better, it gets a lot more constructed, it gets a lot more focused. And I'm actually really excited to see what they do with the second season. In terms of how I really feel about this being connected with the Watchmen universe, it gets as close as it can to the source material. It gets a lot closer than the Watchmen movie, and I actually don't mind the Watchmen movie. I will say that Watchmen first season gets a 5 out of 7 from me. Once again, giving real big props to the production design of this show. From how they introduce the titles of the episodes, to how they edit through the stories, the editing in this show again once it gets past this, the first two episodes is phenomenal great directing great acting i very much enjoyed this and i would suggest it to anyone who's a big fan of the comics because it does a good service to it well yeah sure they probably shouldn't have touched it in the first place but at least it's not garbage anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise we'll see you guys next time
Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.